Hello and welcome to another How to Film Weddings video. Today I posted in our How to Film Weddings Facebook group um, for you to drop a link to your pricing page um, right here so I could do a quick review. I will say I don't know everything when it comes to pricing, but I want to look through as many pages as quickly as possible and just give feedback. So um, hopefully this helps you out. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, just search How to Film Weddings and boom, there you go. You'll be uh, asked a couple of questions. You can join in on all the fun. So again, John Bunn here and let's get at this. The first one I want to talk to you guys about is Chris Prance, Pro Prince Productions. Um, he sent me this PDF that he sends his brides. This looks great. Love the image, the color. The color on this one's not super great compared to this one, so you might mess with that. This font um, is a little hard to read with the italics. Um, I think this is you guys. Yeah, so it's a little about you. I like that. Um, the The italic font bugs me, but other than that, it's great. Use something like this. That would be better. Um, love this. Collection 1, 2, 3. Um, I try to match. Yeah, that looks great. 2600 starting price. Um, this is real clean. Love it. It's kind of hard to read some of these with that white behind there. So you may throw like just a black, um, you know, matte something in there, or like some kind of a something just to, to maybe put a little black over that image, something like that, a little mask or something. Um, add ons. This is all great. I would just change that font, make it a little cleaner. This image color kind of bugs me. Not terribly. q and I would maybe put frequently asked questions instead of Q&A. Um, so people can see it. This font's a little small. Love that you give them all this detail. I think brides, I think this is perfect. I think this is great. Um, a lot of my critique I think is going to be getting people to do columns like this. So doing that is great. It helps people see what else they get. I would almost put digital delivery right here on both of these and then add different things. Um, the 30 to 60 second trailer. So that way they see they get exactly the same thing plus and then make this exactly the same and then add the things that they get on top of this into this package, if that makes sense. So like right now, like the stationary cer ceremony film, just for example, it should be right here where Super 8 is. So that way they don't have to like be cross-referencing back and forth. But other than that, it looks great. I would maybe just look at those images. I'd maybe put a couple more images of the two of you, not on your wedding day because that's, a. I mean, I love it. I love that you can see your dog. I, I think it's great. But um, I would maybe just do some of you at your house or something or just that that'd be it, my, my critique there. All right. Let's see here. Marvin, you didn't post a link to your deal. Brandon Rice. All right. Short cinematic wedding film. Thirty five hundred. Forty seven hundred and sixty five hundred. Got some add ons. So this is a lot of information, which I I mean, I think this is fine because this is like a password protected thing. I would recommend not just sending this before kind of talking it through with the bride on the phone. Um, I will say that like it's kind of hard for me to like see what the difference is in the packages. So, you know, I'm trying to like see the difference and I'm seeing your bolding thing. So that helps maybe make that a little bit bolder. Um, I'd almost recommend like what the last one was, though, with the columns. Um, so yeah, and then anything that just is a little bit extra detail, I, I'm not sure if it's necessary. I mean, I know you're a big Soundstripe fan, but, um, music licensing, you know, like you could put exclusively licensed music. I mean, it just the less is better in my opinion. This is real clean. The fonts are good. Um, all the extras, this is, I probably wouldn't have this, uh, extra, like I just, and like, I wouldn't have that in the initial, um, email or thing you send them. I like these film examples. Um, I almost would like them next to, or a link that you can click and it would take you to one of these. Like, so if right here it said seven to nine, nine minute film, click here to see one of these. That way people can see them instead of like trying to figure out which one feature film is okay feature film which one is that so that that could be a little confusing for people and that's just a lot of films on there so um it might make it a little more cleaner for you You might just have one film that you're trying to really sell um you know like the recommended one would be your most expensive one or whatever you're trying to sell so good stuff brandon as always um let's see max mac Hinnick. This feels like Great Gatsby a little bit, which is fine. Um, I think columns are the way to go when you're doing 
the three packages. This is a way simpler, so it, it makes sense. I don't have any real crazy feedback. Some of these fonts are kind of hard to read. Uh, the yellow and white on black is just kind of real hard on my eyes, and it's like it seems like a double exposure image. It's, if I, like I look at it, it's like where are their heads, and it's just kind of this blurry thing. So. Um, you know, your logo being small, a picture of you, something like that, that's going to go a long way for you. All right, let's keep going on. Eric Murphy with Cookie Jar Productions. Um, let's see, investment, there we go. All right, we've got the chocolate chip cookie, the snickerdoodle, the sugar cookie, and the mini cookie. That is cute. I like to play on words. I think brides would like that too. It might be a little much, but I'm not against it. Um, I think it says a lot about your personality and it's cute, so... Um, I'm going to stop seeing cute so uh, my guy friends won't make fun of me anymore. So anyway, two cinematographers, two cinematographers, one cinematographer. Um, you're starting with it looks like the biggest one, the complete package. Um, I really want to know what's in it, though, a little more than just a paragraph. Like, I really think that if this if this is on your on your website, I don't know if this gets me. uh I don't know if it gets me to click to book. It just doesn't give me enough information. I don't see any video samples. I don't see. So, I mean, if I click book now, it just, you know, I don't know which one I'm interested in. So, I don't know. I mean, it's not terrible by any means. The fonts are fine. They're, they're simple. It's clean and easy to read. I just would almost have bullet points of kind of what you're going to get in each one of them. Um, either that or don't show the different kinds of packages on this page. Just show like, you know, the starting point and then send them a link to a PDF with all the details. This just kind of feels like you're in the middle on showing them what the packages are, but not showing them the prices. So, yeah, that's my thought on that. The site looks very clean. Everything looks great about it. So, um, yeah, it looks great. So, all right. Mm, Tiana Alexis Franks Francis. Let's see here. Um, okay, immediately when I click this, the color temperature of these images are all different, so it just kind of cheapens it a little bit. Um, I would just maybe look at one good image or trying to match the color a little bit better on these or having somebody that knows how to do that a little better help you. I like this. I like the PDF, um, being able to see you guys. This is hard to read. I know I'm zoomed out a little bit, but maybe make the font a little bolder or, you know, Fill it up a little further so you can see it a little better. Um, that font choice is going to bug me a little bit because it's just hard to read. Um, I like it, though. Um, you got your FAQ um, with you know most of the answers. And this is something that you guys send to them after they've inquired with you. So this is great. I think it's awesome. Um, again, like on this, the font and... Just the size of everything is hard to read. If I zoom in, I know it's going to probably blur it up a little bit. Um, so try to zoom in one or two. It's fine, but like it's just kind of blurry. This is, you know, I would I would look at, you know, all these other fonts are pretty clean, but like these little. Um, and then so for 16 minutes, you get a four to five minute film. 1600, I'm sorry. For 1600, you get a four to five minute film. 2300 and 3000. So. Um, again, it's just kind of hard to tell what you what's better about this one than that one, or it just seems like a whole bunch of text, a whole bunch of information. So the cleaner, the easier that brides can like, if if the bride in ten seconds can tell what they want, that's that's huge. Um, this is good. Um, the font is just hard for me to read. It just and then the ending there. I would I put another photo of the two of you guys here, like something that makes it. You want them to remember you, not just these numbers. So good stuff. All right. Let's see here. Oh, nice productions. I know you just updated your logo. That's great. Packages. One package. I would put a picture of you here instead of uh, this, these bridesmaids and the bride. This text block, I would almost make just an image that's wide right here that maybe had a quote um, or something a little different than just a big block of text. One package, I'd maybe left center that so it's easy to see bullet points, what you get. Um, and then, uh, let's see, you're saying you have one package and you can have add-ons. You might bullet point some of the add-ons. I see that you've got them here. Um, I don't 
I mean, I see the price, so I would, I mean, if you're going to put the price out there, you might as well put the price for extra things. Um, but other than that, it's very simple. Um, I don't hate it. I want to see you guys more on this page. Um, yeah, that's what, that's my, my feedback on that one. Let's see. Erica Groves Media, videography. All right, so initially the, the color of the font is is hard to read. Um, it looks like you've got maybe this bolded, but this not. And just that color on the white, just real hard to read. This font feels a little cheap to me. Um, you've got a lot of fonts going on here. So I would just maybe clean that up, make it a little more simple. And then um, if you're going to go stacked on these packages, I would just make it easy to tell the difference between what you're going to get. This one, you're adding photography. Um, yeah, I mean, this this just is a lot to just try to like keep going back and forth. Like, what's the difference? Having them next to each other is going to be very, very helpful. Good stuff, though. Um, I, I, I think that, um, you know, starting out 3,500, working your way up to 5,500, um, I would I would look to um, a custom 128 gig 3.0 USB stick. I would just put USB drive, 1080p. I don't think people want to... Like I don't think that's a selling point at this at this time. Like 1080p is pretty standard, um, or below standard at this point with a lot of people shooting 4K. So this would probably just cause people to ask you questions about why you aren't shooting 4K, as opposed to being impressed that it's 1080p. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I think that just look through this and see what you can peel out of the wording. That's just a lot of words here. Um, no images. Brides want to see images, so put your face on there too. Um, yeah. All right. Try to get to a couple more of these. Um, that text is real hard to read. Let's see. Weddings. Price is starting at $2,000. Um, am I missing the package? I don't think I am. Um, this font with all the caps. I think Nick mentioned that last week, though. But um, yeah, I don't see the pricing. Um, do I click it? Yeah. I mean, I'd probably have something that didn't have a video rolling behind it. I get it. But like everything with a video behind it, um, is pretty hard to read. So I, I don't see any packages. So I don't really have too much of a review. Tori. Let's see here. Wedding investment. This is teeny tiny, a little hard to read. Um, I like that there's a picture of a bride and groom. It'd be cool to see you. I like this. I just can't see it very well. You might want to left align it. I don't mind it being center. I like how the price is clean. Um, it seemed, I, I haven't seen your work, but to include 120 miles of travel starting at 2000. Um, if you're not pretty new, I would consider um, taking that part off at least. Um, six to seven minute film, full day coverage. I would almost say something like six or seven hours of coverage on this one just so it pushes people to either full day here or like eight hours full day, something like that to where what's going to make them want to bump up. And it's only an $800 difference. So you might look at 2003 or, you know, 2,700 and like 3,400, something like that, just to like, this is, you know, a 15 minute film, full day coverage. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's something just to look at. Um, why us in that part, I would put pictures of you. Um, I want to see your face as much as possible, Tori. So, um, yep. Yeah. All right. Sky. Um, what about not having your prices on your website? What's your thought on that? I've pulled all packages and prices. Um, yeah, I mean, all of mine are off my website. I don't even have a starting price. It just says to contact me. So I don't think that's bad. Um, it looks like this is what you have. Um, I'm not sure if that's what you send the couple, but I would want something a little more personal than that, hopefully. So um, I like that it's clean. I get it. But I would almost create at least one PDF that has some imagery with these things on there if you're going to be sending things to brides. All right. Looks like this one and we will be done. Whoop! didn't mean to zoom in on that. Wedding packages. This These fonts are, are fine, but it's just a, it's kind of hard to see if that's a seven or a one. Um Ceremony and reception coverage in a three to five minute video. Um, 
you know, I, I get it, but it doesn't give me finites of like, are you staying the whole reception? Or are you starting the second the ceremony starts? I would assume that this is a one since this is a 2,500. I thought it was 2,700, but uh, 2,160, 2,580. Just wondering what the, what is the reason for the, the numbers like that? Um, you know, easily can charge, you know, 20, 200 or 2197 or something, you know, um, I'm not understanding the numbers so much, but, um, those dash lines right there too are distracting me. I'd probably get rid of them. Um, let's see, uh, three to five minute film, pre-ceremony coverage, audio drone. It's simple. It's clean. Um, Pre-ceremony, ceremony and reception, drone, an Instagram highlight, and a seven to nine minute film. I think the only thing they're getting different there for two more minutes of film is $500. Am I wrong? Uh, no. So, I mean, that I, I, if I was a bride, I wouldn't bump up to this. It wouldn't be worth it. I wouldn't understand the difference in that amount of price difference. So, um, I didn't mean to zoom in there add-ons, you've got different things, more upon request. So yeah, I mean, it's simple, it's clean. Um, I might only use your new elements font there and change these fonts to something that's just maybe this color, a little easier to read, and I might put them next to each other. This is fine like this because it's so simple, but those are my feedbacks. <laughs> All right, so that looks like most everybody I got through. So that's good. Thank you guys so much for submitting. And, um, you know, I appreciate you guys doing this and jumping in and making yourself vulnerable. Um, so yeah, I really, um, appreciate everybody that's been joining this group. Do me a favor if you would, um, like this video, subscribe. Uh, if you hit the bell on YouTube, um, it'll give you notification every time that we post. We're doing our best to get a lot of good content out every single week. So, um, you know, we just want to make this something that is helpful to you. So let me know below if this was helpful to you. And um, until next time, we'll see you.